so good evening class and welcome to lesson 3 of uh, our obligations and contracts class so last meeting we discussed uh, obligations its definition what are the sources and what are the kinds now uh, last time we discussed the kinds of obligations we have uh, real obligations and personal obligations now uh, if as if we can remember uh, real obligations are those kinds of obligations wherein one person is is uh, obligated to give or deliver something okay whereas personal obligations are obligations involving uh, involving a person so, uh, involving a person to do something or not to do something okay uh, so basically malalam makikita natin na ang kaibahan is sa real obligation ang obligation ay magbigay to deliver something whereas sa uh, personal obligations ang obligation na involved ay to do something or gumawa ng isang bagay so uh Today we will be discussing yung uh, yung what real obligations are and what do we mean when we say an obligation to, to deliver a specific thing and an uh, an obligation to deliver a generic thing and what are the respective remedies kapag hindi na fulfill itong obligation na ito. At the same time we will be discussing uh, personal obligations and uh what do we mean when we say someone failed to comply with his personal obligations, be it positive or negative? And later on, discuss then yung remedies available uh, in case na uh, hindi na fulfill yung obligation. So, let's go to real obligations again. Uh, when we say obligation, uh, real obligations, it is the obligation to give. Okay? So, uh... Obligation to give or real obligations can be uh, can be further divided into two kinds of obligations, be it uh, an obligation to deliver a specific thing or a generic thing. Siguro naman ma, uh, madali na lang siguro isipin ko ano ang specific at generic. Ano? Pero uh, let's just say, uh, when we say specific, you are pertaining to a very uh you are pertaining to just one and the same i mean one uh, just you are pertaining to just one thing one specific thing and not anything else whereas uh when we say generic thing uh, you are referring to a group of uh things na may similar characteristics for example uh if i say na i will give you my pig well i think pig which one so basically i can give you any pig so in that sense it is a generic thing because we're referring to all pigs basically but if we're referring to for example uh ibibigay ko sa'yo yung uh baboy ko na may balat sa kaliwang paa at walang isang kuko well, that makes it a uh, narrower description, ano? and more likely, you are pertaining to just one pig, at not everything else na pagmamayari ng isang tao. So, uh, that makes it a specific thing. Now, uh, there is a difference kasi in the treatment of uh, real obligations when it comes to specific things and generic things. Kapag, uh, if you if we are pertaining to uh, obligation to give a very speci a specific thing there are uh, there are several undertakings that you need to do marami maraming siya sabi ang batas na kailangan mong gawin if you are uh, to deliver a specific thing now let's take for example this phone okay uh, the obligation what the obligation is to deliver this exact phone that makes it specific itong phone lang na ito and nothing else it cannot be substituted kasi ito lang naman ang hinihingi so 
Ito lang naman ang subject ng contract. So, uh, what should uh, if I were to to deliver this specific thing, what other things are included? Una, uh, what other under, what other undertakings should I do? Una, to deliver this thing itself. Itong uh, itong phone na to, I need to deliver it to someone. Kasi ngayon nga yung obligation, that is the main obligation, to deliver this thing. Okay? Uh, now, how should I... Now, what if hindi ko pa siya na-deliver? What should I do? Well, I have to take care of it so it doesn't get lost. Okay? Another thing is to preserve this. Okay? Since natapos na ang if natrap, natapos na ang transaction and uh, natapos na ang ang bayaran for that matter and ang usapan I need to preserve this phone with the diligence of a good father. Now, what what does it mean when we say diligence of a good father? Well, it's a subjective term ano, pero when we say diligence of a good father, it's uh well, a diligence of a normal person over something. So, uh well, it's not diligence of a good mother because uh, a mother is over over caring and, and you don't need that kind of uh, diligence mm, that's just anecdotal pero uh, that if that analogy works for you uh, so you need to take care of this thing uh, with the diligence of a good father na tinatawag natin and also uh, other than delivering the thing itself and preserving it until it is delivered uh, you also need to deliver the fruits of this uh, phone. Well, uh, fruits may not be as apparent in this example, pero mamaya we will give uh, different examples. Actually, we will also be discussing what fruits are. Okay. Another is, uh, deliver the accessories and accessions. We will also define later kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng accessory at accession. And finally, answer for damages in case of non-fulfillment or breach. Uh, if you fail to deliver, if I fail, for example, to deliver this phone, there will be damages. Merong tayong tiyatawag na damages or sa Tagalog, danyos. Kung hindi ko ma-fulfill yung obligation ko, uh, yung obligation ko to give this phone. Okay? So, there are actually, there are five and there, uh, there are five things that you need to do when you uh, you have the obligation to deliver a specific thing or your real obligation to deliver a specific thing. First, una, deliver the thing itself. Deliver this thing itself. Pangalawa, preserve the thing to preserve it before uh, it is it is delivered. Pangatlo, deliver the fruits. Pangapat, Deliver the access accessories and accessions. Panglima, answer for damages in case of non-fulfillment or breach. Okay. Now, uh, let's use one example. Uh, for example, uh, you are required, uh, your obligation is to uh, deliver yung, yung, uh, your cow na buntis na uh, bulag yung isang mata which is we, we uh, the point is we are referring to one specific cow okay so this that is an a real obligation and uh, an obligation to deliver a specific thing now what should you do first deliver the thing itself kailangan on the agreed upon date ng pagde-deliver at and place kailangan i-deliver mo yung uh, yung baka Pangalawa, to preserve the thing, uh, what does it mean? Kailangan mong alagaan yung, kailangan mong alagaan yung baka, make it safe, uh, you need to, uh, you need to feed it para mabuhay siya at ma, well, para ma-fulfill ma mo eventually yung obligation mo. Pangatlo, deliver the fruits. Now, there are, there are three kinds of fruits. Uh, we have what we call natural fruits, industrial fruits, and civil fruits. Now, uh, natural fruits are uh, as defined in the in the civil code. 
natural fruits are the fruits uh, of the land or those na uh, offsprings ng mga mga ano ng mga livestock or or what what not ano the definition of natural fruits is actually in the civil code industrial fruits naman kung yung natural fruits are natural products of nature industrial fruits are fruits of human cultivation for example uh, kapag nagtanim ka ng palay and uh, uh, kapag nagtanim ka ng palay and may inani ka eventually dahil kinultivate mo yung lupa and then you planted the the, the plants themselves this these are transformed into what we call industrial fruits or uh, what else yun uh, siguro that's the perfect example and when we say civil fruits we are referring to rent kunare yung isang isang building nag-earn siya ng rent nag-earn siya ng arrears these are civil fruits so those are the kinds of fruits now a good test to determine whether a fruit is uh, natural or industrial is if there is human intervention that is an industrial fruit but if walang ano walang uh, walang human intervention it is uh, a spontaneous it is spontaneous uh, product of the soil or yung ano or yung young ng mga livestock well that, that those are natural fruits but again if there is human intervention it is called an industrial fruit okay so uh, in this case the creditor has the right to the fruits of the uh, of the of the thing that needs to be delivered it has the fruit uh, it, it has the right over the fruits of the specific thing that is to be delivered pero uh, the only time that the right accrues or the only time that you have the the only time that the real right accrues is only if na deliver na siya okay uh before ano uh, before the before the thing is delivered in kuwait pa yung right ng isang tao okay for number 4 is to deliver the accessories and accessions now uh what are these accessories and what are these accessions now, uh, accessions are fruits of a thing or addition to or improvements upon a thing. Now, accessories naman are things joined to or included with the principal, principal thing for the latter's embellishment, better use, or completion. Ngayon, uh, say for example, uh, you are uh, you bought a kalesa kasama yung kabayo. Uh, the whole package, ano, yung kabayo plus the kalesa. Now, in that case, the accessories are yung, well, yung karwahe, yung gulong ng karwahe, yung tali na nagdidikit doon sa, the saddle na nagdidikit doon sa kabayo at saka doon sa karwahe. All of those things are accessories. Yung mga bagay na, it would not be complete without without them or yung mga bagay na used for embellishment to pampaganda doon sa kalesa like siguro kung meron mang designs or whatever yung kalesa that those are included too accessions naman are fruits of the thing or additions to or improvements doon sa bagay example uh, well pag yung kabayo eh buntis pala or nanganak siya kapag kunare na benta na siya even before mga anak yung kabayo uh, that that is a fruit and those are accessions okay uh, well or for example in the case of lupa for example uh, bumili ka ng lupa and then eventually nagkaroon siya ng na for some reason nag nag ano nag nagkakaroon ng deposits ng lupa dun sa tabi ng ng lupa mo kasi nasa malapit sa ilog well that's considered an accession and that and you are supposed to deliver that thing as well so you need to deliver the accessories and at the same time the accessions to the thing and finally answer for damages in case of non-fulfillment or breach 
madidiscuss natin yun in the next discussion. So, kung hindi ma-fulfill ng tao yung obligation, uh, there is uh, may danyos dyan. But actually, I'm getting ahead of myself because this will be discussed in the next part of the lecture. So, in case na the debtor fails to uh, comply doon sa, doon sa obligation niya to deliver a specific thing, what can you do? If you're at the other end of the bargain, kunyari ikaw yung creditor, ano, what can you do? Una, uh, either you can demand specific for performance or fulfillment. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, specific performance is uh, you will uh, you will demand the person to perform or deliver the thing sa'yo or to fulfill yung obligation niya sa'yo, sa'yo which is to give that specific thing. Pipilitin mo siya through court action na ibigay sa'yo yung kailangan mo or yung ibigay sa'yo yung napag-usapan yung ibigay sa'yo. Or you can demand for rescission or cancellation nung uh, nung ano nung whatever contract you had whatever uh, whatever agreement you had pwede nyo ano yan uh, pwedeng i-rescind or i-cancel and may kasamang damages na yon may kasamang damages na yon for uh, well for not being able to deliver or uh, payment of a uh, demand payment of damages pwedeng damages na lang uh, instead of fulfilling the obligation or instead of rece- rece- uh, of rescission of contracts uh, purely damages lang siya in any case if there is breach there is damages kapag may hindi ka na fulfill na obligation and uh, to deliver a specific if specific thing there there is always a need to pay for damages on the part of the creditor or on the part of the debtor rather so yun that is uh, real obligations uh, for the delivery of a specific thing. Now, uh, what if the the real obligation is to deliver a generic thing? Diba, uh, kanina, na-discuss natin yung specific thing is referring to just one uh, specific thing. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, we're referring to one very, uh, one identified thing na kailangan i-deliver very in-specify siya kung alin but what if the obligation is to deliver a generic thing or a thing na well, of generic nature uh, what do we mean by that? Uh, kung kanina the obligation is to deliver this specific phone uh, when we say generic uh, when we say generic thing uh, it for example uh, obligation to uh, I mean I will sell this uh, I will sell my phone for uh, I will sell I will sell to you a cell phone for 1000 pesos. Since I did not specify kung ano ang cell phone na na tinutukoy natin, it could be this phone. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina or this phone or any phone for that matter. So uh, generic nga kasi. So you can uh, so under uh, real obligations to deliver a generic thing. What is uh, what should I deliver? Ano ang ano ang what are my undertakings? Una, uh, and actually the only thing that you need to do is to deliver a thing of quality intended by the parties. To deliver again to deliver a thing of quality intended by the parties. Now, what do we mean when we say a thing of quality intended by the parties? Una, what is the purpose of the what is the purpose of the transaction una uh, for example binigyan kita ng cellphone kasi y- any cellphone nga kasi nga generic generic thing nga yung pinag-uusapan natin but what if i gave you a phone that is uh sira it's still a phone correct pero was that the intention yun ba yung quality na intended natin well when we say uh, of a quality intended by the parties Ano ba sa tingin mo or ano ba ang ano ba ang intention bakit siya bumibili ng cellphone to begin with in order for him to use? Well, if the intention is to para kahuyen at kum- kumuha lang ng ibang parts, a dead phone that's not working is fine. Pero if the intention of the user is to uh, is to use it, you cannot give a phone that is uh, that is 
pangalan nun, that is not working. So, you have the obligation to deliver a thing of, of quality that uh, that is intended by the parties. Now, uh, another example. Baboy. Okay. Uh, uy, uy, pare, bila ako ng baboy mo. Okay. There's no such, uh, there's no specification kung anong klaseng baboy ang hinihingi. Okay. Uh, pero, uh, what if ganito? Pare, bila ako ng baboy mo yung pang -lichon. So, there is still generic thing. Any baboy will do. Basta pwede for lichon. Ngayon, uh, what if binigyan mo ng biik na bagong panganak pa lang? Well, that is baboy. Tama? Baboy pa rin naman yun. But does it serve the purpose intended by the parties? No. di ba? So, uh, well, uh, as an... Um, as a general rule, you are supposed to uh, you are supposed to give something of uh, of a quality that is uh, that is suited for the use nung nung bagay kung bakit siya binibili for example uh, pare bil, uh, ibilhan mo ako eh, ano uh, bigyan mo ako ng ano diyan uh, bentahan mo ako ng laptop yung para sa online class okay we uh, para sa online class ng anak ko. Now, will you give uh, will you give a quality ng laptop na super high specs na for for ano for gaming or for whatever purpose? No. Why not? Kasi uh, the intention is for it just to run uh for the, for it to be run for uh online schooling pero if well if he accepts why not diba pero uh will you deliver uh will you deliver a laptop that is from the 1990s na walang webcam of course that's that's uh not within the quality intended by the parties ano eh pang online class nga pang video pang video call pang pang zoom or whatever it's uh, giving the kid a laptop na walang webcam is just uh, not uh, not acceptable. Well, it's still a laptop, correct? But the, it, was it for the intended purpose? No. So, we need to consider uh, in the delivery of generic thing kung ano ba yung intention no what what is, what is the ano intention for the for the for entering into an obligation. Ano? And if again, the, if there is breach to uh, in the delivery of uh, of that thing, what are the remedies of the uh, what is the what is the remedy of the creditor? Kung di nabigay yung dapat, una to demand specific performance or fulfillment plus damages. Ano ang ulit yung demand ano demand specific performance? To demand specific performance means uh to require him to uh, to fulfill your obligation i require mo siya na ibigay magbigay ng the thing of the same quality that you intended it to be mga ganun pero you cannot demand naman uh, anything of superior quality kasi hindi generic nga yun unless it's stipulated na you will give something of uh, of uh, with that quality or demand rescission or cancellation with damages in any case uh, you can cancel the you can cancel the uh, the sale in the case in that case ano? and plus damages again there is always damages kapag may breach if there is breach or ano, or breach or hindi pagsunod doon sa sa terms and conditions ng contract there is always damages okay so that is for real obligations again there are there are uh Two, two things that you need to remember when when ano, when fulfilling and when dealing with uh, real obligations that is it real obligations could be an obligation to give a specific thing or a generic thing kapag specific thing when we're speaking of specific things there are a lot more obligations involved like to deliver the thing but not just that you know to to preserve the thing before delivery to uh to deliver the fruits to deliver the accessories and accessions and if, if in case there is breach to answer for damages 
So again, deliver the thing itself, preserve the thing, deliver the foods, deliver the accessories and accessions. And for generic thing, the only the only thing that you need to do is to deliver a thing of quality intended by the parties. Again, we need to look into the intention of the uh, of the transaction of the obligation. What is it for? Para saan ba yon? Now, uh, that is for real obligations. Go now to uh, personal obligations. Now, again, just like what we discussed last time, uh, personal obligations can be divided into, uh, into two kinds. We have positive personal obligations or what we call obligations to do and negative personal obligations which is uh, obligations not to do. Now, uh, I think we need to discuss and what's important here under personal obligations is that uh, what do we mean when we, when we say someone failed to comply doon sa personal obligations? What do we mean when we say uh, someone failed to carry out yung ob personal obligations niya? Under, personal, uh, under positive personal obligations, what do we mean when we say uh, what uh, what do we mean when we say someone failed to do what is part of his obligation una when he fails to perform an obligation to do una kapag talagang hindi niya nagawa well that is uh, that is failure to comply or failure to do something or uh, it could also be na uh, if he performs it contrary to the terms what do we mean when we say performs contrary to the terms? Iba ang pinag-usapan, iba ang ginawa. Or, if he performs the obligation poorly. So, maraming, maraming types ng failure to comply under personal uh, obligations. Kung sa real obligations kanina, if you fail to deliver, if you fail to give some, if you fail to give the thing, or if you fail to deliver the fruits, mga ganyan, that's breach. Ano? Dito, what's breach? If you fail to perform an obligation, or the obligation, if you fail perform it contrary to the terms or performed it poorly. Now, what is a good example of this? Bahay, for example. Now, uh, you have this, uh, you have this plan. Sinabi mo sa engineer, sinabi mo sa architect that that this is how you want it done. Ano? Ano yung what is it to uh, no what is it to uh what did, what does it mean to uh fail to do something una if hindi talaga ginawa yung bahay that's the first one fails to perform an obligation to do kapag hindi talaga ginawa yung bahay that is failure to do pangalawa if he if it is performed contrary to the terms kuno na pag-usapan niyo ay two story building Ngayon ang ginawa, tatlo ang tatlo ang story nung ano nung bahay. Or ang sinabi mo lagyan ng pool sa itaas sa bubong sa third floor. Ang ginawa nilagay yung ano, nilagay yung yung pool sa gitna ng first at second floor that is uh, performing contrary to the terms. Iba yung napag-usapan sa ginawa. Or performs the ob performs the obligation poorly. For example, paggawa ka nga ng bahay, concrete. Pero isang ihip lang ng tao mawawala. Or magmasisira. So that is performing the obligations po the obligation poorly. Or uh, unang tapak mo pa lang doon sa second floor nagiba na. That is performing the obligation poorly. So what are the remedies in case na nagfail yung yung ano yung debtor to do the obligation to do the per positive personal obligation one kung hindi talaga ginawa uh, you can well you can ask the court to uh, to for a specific performance or you can ask the court to have the person do what is exactly asked of him or her papagawa mo sa kanya kung ano yung uh, dapat niyang gawin uh, plus damages, of course, may damages na yun. Or, uh, you can ask someone else to do it for you. But again, with the payment ng damages by yung, yung, ano, yung nag-fail na 
yung mga ano yung mga yung obligated to do to do something pero hindi niya ginawa. May damages pa rin. Unless yung ano, unless the thing is uh, unless there are personal considerations na concern. For example, magpapagawa ka ng painting, pero ang the consideration is that kaya mo pinagawa yung pin- painting because of because the person that you asked to do it is actually the best ever. So, kaya mo lang naman pinagawa yun kasi siya yung, the, siya yung best nga. So, uh, you cannot say na, I, I mean, hindi ka nila mapapilit na ipagawa sa iba yun. So, uh, well, kung ayaw niya, recover damages. Okay? Uh, hindi pwedeng i-perform ng iba yun kung may considerations na personal. Now, if it's poorly done, kung pangit yung pagkakagawa, pwede siyang, uh, it can be undone at the debtor's expense. Pwede siyang gawin ulit, uh, pero expense na nung debtor. Expense na nung dapat nagagawa. Kung pangit yung pagkagawa, ipapapaulit. Kanya na yun. Uh, obligasyon yun na yun. And finally, we can recover damages. Pwede kang mag-recover ng damages mula dun sa, mula dun sa taong nag-fail na mag-perform ng obligation niya. Now, Another kind of personal obligation, just like what we discussed last time, is the uh, negative personal obligation or the obligation not to do. Okay? Ibig sabihin, you're prohibited to do something. Pinagbabawalan kang gumawa ng isang bagay. Now, you've, what, does, what does it mean when you say you failed to comply with your personal obligation? Now, in the negative personal obligation, you failed to do something, or you, you failed not to do something, or you failed to comply with your obligation if you did something that you are forbidden to do. Kung pinagbabawalan ka. For example, uh, mm, I'll, I'll pay you 100,000 para, ano, para, wag ka lang, wag kang patayo ng bahay dyan. Or wag kang patayo ng bakod. Diyan sa property mo. Okay, that's, uh, that's your obligation. To, your obligation is not to build the wall or not to build the house. Now, what if you did? Paano kung ginawa mo? Now, what is the remedy of the what is the remedy of the creditor? Una, the, uh, the creditor can demand that what was done be undone at the debtor's expense plus damages. Kunwari, patay ko ng bahay. Pwede yung patanggal yun. Uh, it can be, it need it will be undone at your expense pa plus damages with Daniels or pwedeng mag-recover lang yung tao ng Daniels okay so that's basically a uh, negative personal obligation and the remedies for failure to comply so we saw now na uh, under personal obligations there are two kinds nga na nabanggit natin yung positive personal at negative personal obligations now, under personal, uh, under positive personal obligation, one one is said to have failed to comply kung una, hindi talaga ginawa or iba yung ginawa sa napag-usapan or kapag poor yung pagkakagawa. And for negative personal obligation naman, you, uh, you have said to have breached your obligation if kung ginawa mo yung isang bagay na pinagbabawal na gawin mo. Now, what there are remedies under the law no no aggrieved party una in the case of person positive personal demand the performance or if poorly done be undone at the debtor's expense and in both cases uh recover damages for ano for negative personal uh demand that what was done be undone at the debtor's expense plus damages or does or damages lang so uh what is common among all of this ano Una, that you have you you need to do something kung it's if it's your obligation and if you fail to do it merong katapat na merong katapat na remedy yung kabila the aggrieved party yung na paano yung agrabiadong party partido they have the remedies under the law as well this is just uh, summarized if you want to look at the specifics uh, you can always look at the civil code, pero this is basically uh, the distinction between real obligations and personal obligations and what are the undertakings that come with them and the remedies for 
in case you in case someone failed to comply with their obligation uh now uh in uh, for the next meeting we will be discussing uh we will be discussing about fraud negligence delay and all of these things but for now uh, i i hope you understood clearly ko ano big sabihin natin uh, when we say real obligations and personal obligations uh obligations to deliver a specific thing obligations to deliver a generic thing and etc so thank you for listening and i hope you learned a lot today mm-hmm.